Hey guys, B Gamer here, and I'm going to walk through reverting back to the original ZV3 stock software on the LG Volt. Uh, to do this, you will need a few things. You'll need the stock tote file for our phone, which is available here. There will also be a link in the description. Uh, you'll need the LG Flash tool, a special Megalock DLL and the DLL for our phone. Also will be linked in the description below. You'll also need the LG drivers, which will be in the description below as well. Now the first thing you need to do is install your LG drivers. Once that's done, you'll need to reboot your computer, which I will do now, and I will see you when it comes back up. Okay, now we've rebooted, and our drivers are installed, so now we need to install the flash tool. And it's going to install it to the root of your C drive. Don't run it yet, just uncheck the box and hit finish. Then open up your C drive and open up the folder that the flash tool is in. Copy over the DLL for the phone as well as the Megalock DLL and replace the one that's already there. Purely for convenience, I'm recommending that you also put the tote file in there. That way everything is in one place and when you go to select things when you open the flash tool it's going to uh, default to that directory anyway so you don't even have to navigate anywhere if it's all right there. Once that's all copied over, go ahead and open up the flash tool. Select manual mode. Then select the DLL. And add the tilt file. And then most importantly, change the action mode to board DL. Upgrade DL will mess things up. Hit OK. Hit the yellow arrow. And now it's ready to go. It's not actually doing anything yet. In fact, your phone doesn't even need to be plugged in yet at this point. However, now you do need to plug in your phone and boot it into download mode. So you're going to hold volume up while plugging in the phone. Do not press power. And it'll go into download mode and hold it until you get to this screen. At that point, you're going to wait for the phone to come up on the computer. If it doesn't, you might need to go into Device Manager.
go down to the porch and make sure this is set to the correct port. So it's waiting for connection. Now once the phone reboots, we can stop the flash tool because that's about to error out anyway. And your phone will boot into this mini OS screen. And all you need to do is hold the power button and hit normal boot, which is hard to do with one hand. And you'll get a thing that says, are you sure you want to reboot? Yes. And it will take a couple minutes for it to boot because it's fresh installed software setting itself up. So it, it will take longer than normal to boot up. And you also probably won't get your carrier's boot animation. And now we're up. Before. And you can just skip through all this for now if you want. Or fill it in as you go. I'm skipping it because I want you to get on to the next portion. Alright, and odds are you will not have service at this point. In fact, if you do have service at this point, I would be very surprised. What you're going to need to do is open the dialer and hit pound, pound, seven, two, seven, eight, six, pound. It'll reset the phone, and when it reboots this time, it will uh, activate. Which is also why I didn't bother with any of the setup stuff because it's all going to get wiped. It came out much faster that time. And so 
service um, activation and voila you are back in business at this point you can just let it go through its little self updates and go ahead and let it OTA update all the way to the current version and reroute and be on your own be on your way that's all there is to do in this if this video helped you out hit the like button subscribe check out my other videos and leave a comment down below if you have any other questions thanks for watching guys